Hey guys, this is Dr. Baker. Um, I'm responding to a lot of the questions that many of my followers asked that pertain to studying technique for medical school. So this should apply for not only medical school, but in studying in general. Before you go over this video, I really strongly urge you to go over my video on different types of memory so you have a perspective on what I'm gonna cover on. Basically, I have a very consistent way of studying and I've maintained that in undergrad and in medical school and it served me very well. It's a technique that is reproducible and so long as you have a high enough IQ and you have good work ethic, you should be able to reproduce the results. The approach is fairly simple. It's redundancy. Basically, before you go to class, you have the material to go over. Once you go over the material, you basically have one primary review of the content. Secondly, once you go to class, you have second time the same review of the content while taking thorough notes. Third, as soon as you go back to your dormitory or to your apartment after you've done the first lecture, you had the third review. After the third review, you basically make sure that you have one condensed sheet that has all the key components summarized into one simple sheet. So this now serves as your fourth review. And you basically replicate this four times for each class. And by the time the week is over, you go over only your condensed one sheet. That is fifth review. And when it comes time for examination, you have now had six reviews of the same content. Now, this is a lot of work. I get it. And trust me, uh, I may not have been the, the smartest kid in the medical school. I will tell you I was one of the highest performing ones. And I basically replicated this technique. It was a lot of work, but I did it and it worked every single time. So the goal here is to basically convert your short-term memory to be consolidated into long-term memory. And once you do that conversion, that memory sticks around. And I also wanna emphasize the emotional component of this memory consolidation. Now, as a medical student, you can quickly get overwhelmed with the content that you have to cover. For me, I had the strongest desire to know everything that I could possibly know about medicine in order to be the best doctor possible. That pure desire and motivation to know the content well enough so I could give the patients the best care possible was the driving force that kept me going. So never lose track of that. So whenever you're down and overwhelmed, just think about why you're doing what you're doing. And that can sometimes be enough to get you through this difficult time. Best of luck. And if there's anything that I can do to help you, please share your thoughts and comments and let me know if there's other related topics that I can help with.